welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. My name is Pixelated Twix, and last time we left off, we had just reached the uh, city or town of Lotharin and um, cleared out some thieves, picked up a, a quest or two, and we met the Re Reverend Mother in this particular chantry. And I found out the, that the the ban of this particular town had basically abandoned the people, went off with um, Tyr and Loghain, I think, and that the horde of Darkspawn are approaching quickly to this town. So we're going to go ahead and try to get the, through. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> okay, well. Um, hello? I want to go home. So do I. So do I. All right, helpful refugee? You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Tell me about these soldiers. Uh, okay. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the king's army. Mm hmm. Why is the tavern full? Same reason the chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? Ah, uh, yeah, that was me. Why aren't my buttons working? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. All right, let's head into the tavern. I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. But I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. I mean, they have a point, right? Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh, Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Ah. Uh, it looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Let's make this quick. Oh, they're on. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Here all right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I don't want them reporting to Logan, Or maybe I do. Yes, take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? He'll have to do better than this. No. He'll pay for this. Yeah. He'll pay for what he's done. For coming for him. I'll tell him. Right away, now. Not that Thank it'll you. probably scare him. It probably won't I scare him. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Sure. Um. And who are you, anyhow? 
Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I am Natalia. A pleasure. Those men said you are a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. You are? Um... Why are you so eager to come with me? Yeah. The Maker told me to. Right. Can you elaborate on that? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. <laughs> Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Hey. Very well. I will not turn away help when it's offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. All right, so we've added Liliana to our team, and so therefore we need to drop someone. We can either keep Augie. Well, we need our warrior, so Alistair's default. Um, I do need a mage. Um, so we're just gonna head and get rid of Augie. I'm sorry, Augie, and we're gonna take Indeed. Liliana. I feel like though Le Augie might be the stronger out of the two, but we're just gonna take her. We're gonna try to switch it up a little bit. Besides, Augie's kind of a silent partner. He doesn't say much. What do you need? I didn't mean to, but we'll talk to you. You want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I just thought you might need to talk. He was like a father to you. I understand. Yeah. I, I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. And he saved your life by sending you to the tower. Yes. I know. I think he came from High Eber, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Opening up freshly, fresh wounds here. Not that the wounds have actually healed, but they were starting to. I don't know. It hadn't been very long since her parents had died. Um, since uh, Eamon had basically murdered. So, um, my entire family. Well, it wasn't just her entire family because her brother is still alive. Somewhere, maybe. Um, I've lost enough to know true. Do I want to tell him my entire family? I feel like when I say that, that I'm just like throwing that in his face and trying to want them. Maybe I just go with the more empathetic. I feel like I've lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really. I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you... I'd like that. So would he, I think. Yeah, I'll be supportive. We got plus five approval from Alistair on that. All right. Uh, let's talk to this guy. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding run by the Chantry. I got other gear to sell. Let's see. Don't worry about him. I took care of it. Who, who did I take? Oh, that one guy, yeah. You did? Wow. 
I don't know what to say to that. Thanks. Oh, tell me what you thought. Oh, farewell. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Um, you don't have any well-paying work in Lothering? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Uh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I've dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Uh, any idea where I could get ingredients? Well, there's herbs in the North Wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. Ellen. All right, let's see. I do need some more health poultices. I don't know what we're looking at. Uh, oh. Yeah, we'll just buy... Why did I just buy one? How much money do I have? Okay, I was going to say... I probably should be careful with the amount of money I'm spending. Um, I do need these. I need flasks. What the? Uh, I don't. How many? I'll just take that. That should do it. And do I want these gifts? Ale, shiny gold ring. I should probably take these just in case. Um. Lesser injury kit recipe. Proved herbalism. Okay. Is there anything that I could sell? Actually, you know what? Let me not sell anything until I know what Leliana needs. And let me go ahead and take care of her right now. Okay, she's in some robes. Um the boots she has on are fine. Yeah, this is not gonna do it. This is not gonna cut it. Let's see. Light armor. Okay. Oh, the fatigue is really high on that. All right. Um. Let's see. I feel like okay. We've got gloves and there's a helm. Okay. What about weapons? What are we rocking? We've got one a dagger. One a dagger. Do a dagger. Let's give you the dark spawn dagger. Actually, I think she is a archer, so we're gonna give her. Damage. Let's give her this. Okay. Um. About this. Give her this. That should work. Um. Okay. All right. Let's sell the rest of the stuff. Any luck with that poison? No. Nope. Oh, you're here to see my stock. I'm here to see your stuff. Yes. Need to sell some. All right. So I want to keep the greats. Do I don't? Do I do? Do I don't? No. We get rid of that. Get rid of these two things here. Get rid of this enchanted dagger. We can sell that too. Um sell these leather boots and sell this and this can't you uh, I guess sell that okay all right I don't think he had anything for me to make all right all right let's go What's this What's this Like that. Sorry, As I'm robbing you, you guys blind. It shall be done. Alright. No one seems to care. Let's talk to the cook, can we? I'll have no fighting in my kitchen. Out with you. Okay. Fine. I was trying to help, really. I mean. Okay. Oh, let's talk to this dude. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Yes. Uh, yeah. Is there something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars, 
We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. Yes. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Okay, how can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Thank you. So do I, I just need to look here. Scraping the barrel. My friend, there are a number of people who pledged to aid the Blackstone Irregulars in times of need. Those times are now. Here you will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people listed below and return to the Irregulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Okay, so these are the locations. I'll accept that. Dereliction of duty. Down and deal with deserters. Do this and you will be rewarded. These deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to the Irregulars future as a supplier of martial services. Deal with these wastes of space as you see fit and bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with. We will ask you no questions or tell you no lies. As to your methods or the final condition of the deserters, use your own description, discretion. You will likely find them in the following locations. Okay, these are their locations. We'll go ahead and accept that. I feel like this is like merc I guess it is mercenary work. It is begun. I mean, technically, I am doing mercenary work. Some fellow in the tavern said that the darkspawn turned folks into ghouls. What's a ghoul? Something like an abomination, maybe. Oh, well, that isn't good. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. What? To everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes oh, is? Okay. Might as well ask us how to yeah. get Alright, let's talk to this lady over here, and then there's a lady over there. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Uh see. It's pretty sure no one does, sorry. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. No, oh, I feel bad because very well. One of these days, one of these days. All right, is there anybody else I can speak to over here? I think everybody else is just a NPC. Let's talk to her, Elder Miriam. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of? <coughs> Are you taken care of? That cough sounds nasty. Um, actually, I was more hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I don't, but my friend does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Thanks. More than just plants. Um, poisonous proposition. More than just plants. Craft the poultices. Elder Miriam has requested that you use your skill with herbs to craft some lesser health poultices for the injured refugees in Wildering. Three of these should suffice. Refer to her note for specifics. All right. So I think Morgan... Does? Speak. Yes. All right, she can do three right now. Talk to her now. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Yes. Uh, I didn't need them. Here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I try. It doesn't always happen that way, but I do try. All right. So good thing we were able to help her out fairly quickly. How dare you accuse me of thievery? Supplies from my car. Oh, these are the Your chasen? Your grassland eyes are inept. A chasen would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. Hmm. 
People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. Enough is enough and I can't take no more. And Goony Goo Goo to you. You aren't one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. Uh, your prisoner? Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? Yeah. I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. I'm Natalia. Pleased to meet you? Would she know what a Kunari is? Probably not. What's Kunari? If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. Her head just glitched out for a minute. Um, I... Let's see. I find myself in need of skilled help. Absolutely. No doubt. What help do you seek? I am sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Yes. Are you a Grey Warden then? Absolutely. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Oh, wow. Okay. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. I'll leave you for now. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. Yeah, I just think that's pretty horrendous. That you would just leave this man to his fate in a cage to be eaten alive, probably, by the Darkspawn. I don't know. That's barbaric. And I realize that he's a murderer. I get that. But why be barbaric about so it? tell if me something, gonna... Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. That's the most civil conversation they've had ever. Ever. Okay, is there anything else on here that I'm checking? All right, let's go talk to the revered mother, see if we can get her to release um, Inari into our into our care. Mother, okay, got everything out of here. Yes. Good day, Sister Leliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you, then? I want to talk about Sten, the canary you have imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Well, first of all, you've got him caged up like an animal, getting him for, you know, prepping him for slaughter by the dark spawn. I find that to be barbaric. You know, we could do better. We could be doing better. Okay. This is why people don't like humans. Um, but that's not what I want. That's not what I'm going to say. I want to say that, but not. Um, is there any way I can get you to release him to our Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Uh, I was thinking you might release him to my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. 
Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. The fact that she said, we, you know your friends better than I. Ma'am, we've known her as long as we've known you. Actually, we've known you longer than we've known her. She has no idea who we are. We don't even know who she is. We have no clue. But you know what? Whatever. That's fine. Just make it make sense. I'm not complaining about the devs of the game. I'm just saying, obviously, there was a reason why she was, um, she said that, but. They say same. your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kukari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about... Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. <laughs> No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Oh, wow. Um... Wow. Who's this lady? Where can we go? This is no better than what we left. Yeah, sorry. Can I talk to you people? In the wilds we are eaten, here we starve. Is there no end to our fortune? I mean, you decided to come here. I don't know what else to say. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Okay. Thank you, Sten. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Okay, so Sten is a warrior as well. He's a two-handed um, weapon slinging warrior. We are not going to use him right now. I'm going to stick with Liliana and Morgan and myself. Of course, myself. Um, Alistair. I think Alistair is always going to be sword and board, so he will always be in the, the most part. I will probably switch it up between him and Sten. But for now, Alistair is my Okay. So Sten is in the picture now. Let's go loot over here. Let's get this stuff. Um, do this chest. And uh there we got. Very well. Put a leather armor. Thank you very much. What are you guys doing? We Hanging don't know out? what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! More enemies ahead! <laughs> it shall be done. It shall be done. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad. Don't give them the advantage. So, I feel bad, but then again, they decided to attack us. Obviously, for greed. It, it, listen, desperate times, de desperate measures. They needed the money. They needed the money. And would I have done the same thing if I were out here starving and trying to get to a safer spot, you know, to escape out of this town? Because knowing full well that the horde are coming this way and we need resources. Why do you always go on about how stupid I am? I'm not stupid, am I? If you need to ask the question, as you say, wow, that's because it hurts my I man. I shall do it. <laughs> feelings, you know, or one of them. 
Then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. Oh, my god. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then I must have been mistaken. I'm very impressed. No, wow. you're not. Wow. Okay, You're not people. even listening to me. My, you are smarter than you look after all. Your Chantry must have been very proud. I feel like they like each other, you know? All right. Ooh, she can so I keep hitting the mic with the other mic. Okay. All right. So we got Stan. We talked to Elder Miriam. Um, let's go and get this loot over this way. And I think we have to get... What do we need? We need to get... Hell, okay. There's a notice on the Chanter's board about bandit group lurking. Oh. Okay, so we've got we've got the barking dog. Sorry about that. Very well. All right. Okay, so we gotta get a group of people. There, what? There was I thought I. Oh. Hello. You must be the bandit group. I do it. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have. Where is everybody? I'm dead. I'm dead. I tried to be magical. For the gray wardens. Yes, of course. I wasn't even paying attention. Liliana's gonna die. Hold on, Liliana. Let me let me do this. I didn't even set you up right. I didn't. I didn't. My bad. All right. Oh, 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 Alistair's gonna die. Oh, oh, gosh. Let's grab some glory. On my way. Defend yourself. As you like. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where is my body? Over here somewhere. There I am. Alright, let's take care of our injuries. As you say. Okay. Anybody else need looting over here? Okay. So Liliana is a bard by default. Okay, so let's move some stuff around here. She's got poisons. You can also steal. She's actually... Uh, see, this is the problem. She's an archer. However, she tends to forget that uh, from time to time. Okay. Put these elf fruit up. I shall do it. I shall do it. You know what? Let me see if I can make some more. What's this? Death root. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get that. Um, let's see what Morgan can make us really quick. Some more potions. Oops. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and save. I haven't saved in a while, so I want to go ahead and do that. And... We need to kill these... Ooh. Oh my gosh. You know what? Mm, Liliana, I'm going to I'm going to Stop your drooling and save some dignity. Oh, mm -hmm. oh that's so gross. It's done. Mm -hmm. Well, so much Liliana. Oh yeah. 
Liliana's still stuck? Yeah. Have at it. She does this. You are right away. Let us end. Oh, my God. Yes. Hey. You know what? Seriously? Let's finish this. I can't do it. Oh, always with the big freaking spiders. Oh, wait, was I supposed to make poisons? What was I supposed to be doing? Somebody needed poison. Who needed the poison? Somebody. Somebody needed the poison. Um... This guy, create a poison bottle for Bar Bardlin. Okay, so he needed venom. I could do this. Was it? Yeah. I don't know how many he needed. How many? Five? I just made them all. I don't know. Okay, all of them, I suppose. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we still need to look for one more group of bandits. Oh, here we go. And they've got Mabari. Shoot. Get the Mabari. Oh my gosh, I am squishy. What the? Here comes you know what? Mm -hmm. Alistair, seriously, dude. I see. Here comes the trouble. It's done. On my way. Yes, of course. It's your time to die. Oh my gosh. And stay down. Dude, stop, because you're dying. Right away. Oh, yeah. it's done. You? As you like. Oh, 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 is that a mage? No. Let's get this guy. On my way. Mm -hmm. Got your back, Morgan. Right away. All right. Okay. I'm talking all this crap about Alistair, and I can't see my character can't seem to stay up either. Okay. Uh, she definitely is going to need some more constitution. She is dying left and right. Natalia, get it together, girl. Get it together. All right, let's grab some more elf fruit. Let's see what else we can loot over here. I don't think we have anything. Piece of elf fruit over here and here. I think we have one more group to... Yeah, we've got... You've killed two, so we need to get the last one and then that should do it right is this it up here let's see first let's get this let's see what the what the As heck is going on up here What's going Away on? With you, uh, Leave us alone. What? Alistair. Morgan's 
pretty tanky. Oh, she's pretty tanky indeed. Alistair leveled up. Let's give him some more constitution immediately. Immediately. All right. Also, um, he is not quite ready for the Templar. What else can we give him? Shield bash? Yeah, shield balance. Yeah, well, that's fine. All right. Uh, what's his blood mage? Ooh. Rigby's less. Oh, that's us. Okay. New Codex. Maleficarium rights. Uh, was it like a quest? I don't see it. I'm not going to look for it right now. Mighty oh. timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. How can I help you? You're welcome. Uh, I wasn't trying to save you. Yeah, no. We... The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello. The road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind mm. if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps um, we're going the same way. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Do we, do we really? Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Thank you for the offer, but there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Sure. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Yes. All right, let's see. I is shall this, do it. Is this your stuff? Is is this your stuff? I feel like this might be your stuff. But, um... Ooh. Okay. All right. So, we've got... Let's see. Okay, I still need one more group of bandits. And something about... Oh, the poison. Okay, so we need to return that. And then we need to... Get the group of bandits. Okay, so let's go this way. I do recall them being over here. Yes. And also with the Mabari. Is there a mage in here? Okay, no mages. Need to watch out for those guys. Pastors go down first, people. Oh, Alistar. Okay, and Alistar's down. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. This guy hurts. Holy moly. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh my gosh, Liliana's dead. Oh, Morgan. I am ready. Morgan, wait. My spell is undone. You will learn to fear me. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. This hurts. Okay. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Oh gosh. I shall do it. As you wish, so be it. I see. Oh gosh. It's your time to die. And I'm dead. Oh no, I didn't save. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Where am I? Ah, I gotta go over here, don't I? And kill the spiders all over again. Okay, so we know that the blood mage had some kind of s sealed letter on them. And we're gonna grab the health poultices as we once again ran through a bunch. I have to say, again, Morgan is a very tanky. Let's go ahead and give some more um, constitution to both Alistair and myself. I think with me though, it was more or less, um, e it was more or less the injury that caused me some a debuff. So uh, we did give him shield balance last time. All right, so for me, 
um, constitution. I want to give myself more strength and more cunning. Um, oh, I can do, I can do, oh, I have a specialization talent, but I can't quite open up my specializations. I haven't decided what I'm going to go with. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Um, combat movement below the belt. I feel like below the belt might be the way to go, but let's just... And, uh, I feel like I, hmm, you know what? I should have just went with straight daggers. Um, let's go with combat movement. All right. Probably should save here. Don't want to have to do this again. All right. Go with caution. Go with caution. All right, so I, I'm thinking I might go ranger just because I like having pets, but I may go into like duelist or something. I don't know. It depends. Assassin sounds good too. I don't think I've ever played assassin. Um, Minor as in like minor or like a minor as in a minor. Okay. One that like digs up stuff. So, who do we need to... Oh, we need to go back this way. Oh, no. It's this way. Yeah. Give this guy his poisons. We don't need to listen to the town gossips. Here we go. Any luck with that poison? Or are you here to see my stock? Nope, we got what you asked for. Splendid! Uh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah. Enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some. Hey! <laughs> you literally gave me 75 silver. I see no gold. I just don't. All right, what about this guy? You're going to make more trouble. We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Sorry about the mess. They had it coming, and they were troubling up themselves. So, so long as you don't start more, I won't get excited. Hey. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we have a full house. I don't suppose you have any rooms? Why would I want a room? I don't want a room. I heard, heard any rumors. There's knights from Redcliffe spread all over Ferelden on some kind of mission, but I hear that they're starting to become rare to find. Maybe they all went back to Redcliffe. More likely they got tired of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. Anything else I can get you? Um, no, I'll be going. Luck speed your way. You know, I keep getting accused of making a ruckus when the shenanigans didn't pop off because of me. So how is it the Terran Logain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? Because he I didn't saw fight. just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. The hero. He is. Oh my gosh, you men are completely, completely All full right. of it. I've come up with one, a question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion, and this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. <laughs> how long have I been playing this game? All right. Um, talk to Enter Devons. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Okay, do you have anything else on here? Yep. When bears attack on behalf of the of Fed the farmer and his departed son, I inscribe this missive. As the maker is my witness, I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy. Oh, Enith. Oh, my gosh. For they an abomination in the maker's sight, and their hides would prove great comfort to the northern farms and solace to for Fed's family. As chanted for Lothering, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign. To whoever carries out this 
the maker's will. Exercise caution first and foremost. May his light bathe us all. I'll take that. Yes, indeed. A last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who've opened up their barns and crafts to the refugees in these dark times. The Chantry regularly have praised our visitors and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in any prayers. Sadly, there's a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife, Sarah, is missing. And she has been missing for the better part of a week. And as of this writing, she's presumed dead. May the maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and fond of a green cloak. If any traveler or resident comes across her in the wilds, please return her body or the effects of her, on her remains. And ooh, in later years, the boy will be thankful to have such keepsakes to remember his brave mother by. Mm, the office of Chanter will compensate this kindness with the sum of 50 silvers. May the maker turn his gaze on us all. My goodness. Okay, so let's let's go. The Northern Wood. And, um, I guess kill the bears and who have mauled Enith, poor Enith. And then there's another little boy who is missing his mother. Um, and she has been missing for the better half of a week. And so, whoa, these are not bears. MR dogs, MR wolves, MR war. Those are lots of wolves. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am, are you not drinking? Who am I on? Oh, I was not on me. First of all, first of all. Height. Secondly, Alistair. Oh, grab that. Now she's going down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We did get some back though. As you say. These these guys, I feel bad. I feel bad for killing them, but um let me uh heal your wounds here. Where's the injury kits? Grab this. Oh, you are in desperate need. Alright, let's see who else is injured. No one else. Okay. Let's save. We are not doing that over again. All right. Corpse. Of course. Red hair. We found the body of the boy's mother and recovered her keepsake. All right. Let's go take care of the bears. There are three of them. I freaking hate bears in Dragon Age. Okay, let's go. I shall do it. Watch out! Down you go! Down you go! Something about the hides. Do, do, did they even give us their hides? There are no bear hides. Unless they're coming out to scan them. There's nothing. Okay, so we took care of that. Found the, the boy's mother. Oddly enough, um, she wasn't there before. So she must have just gotten killed. By the wolves. So maybe she was on her way back from wherever she was to get her boy and was met by a pack of wolves. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, that's kind of sad. Okay. <sighs> Where is the boy? This is not him. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Okay, anything else? All right, looks like everything is done over in Lothering. So we're going to go ahead and head out and um, wish these people well. Goodbye. So long. Um, no, that's not how you say it. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Say that wrong. It's been a long time since I watched the sound of music. But you get the gist. See you later. Hope you guys get the heck out of Dodge before the dark spawn come. Even though that one guy thought that he was just going to poison them. There's a ton of them, sir. That's nowhere near enough poisons to um, deal with that horde of dark spawn. So this, this place is toast. Let's get out of here. Bad dreams, huh? Um, seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the mm. Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We are now at camp. Um, and then the next time we gather together, we're going to go ahead and talk to... Um, our companions, our latest companions that have been added to the party and get to know them and even get to know the other companions a little bit better. This is what we call tenting. So we're going to go ahead and end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Age Origins and I hope to see you again soon. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Ciao.